So in this video, I thought it would be fun to do a quick size comparison with every iPhone that I currently have in my possession. On the far left, you're going to have an iPhone 4. I pretty much use this now for a, an iPod in one of my cars. I plug it in and I just leave it there for music. Next to it, uh, even though it's an older design style, uh, is the brand new SE followed by the 6S and the 6S Plus. Now, if we flip them over and around, uh, the 4 is definitely a little bit thicker. You can see the design used on the 4. Even though the SE is the newest release, it actually goes back a couple of generations as far as style, as most of you know. And then, of course, the 6S and its larger brother, the 6S Plus, which carry the same design language. So you can see the evolution of Apple just from the 4 to the most current phones. You definitely have seen a big size change. And to give you a, a good comparison, I'm going to pull out the S and the 4 and I'm going to show you the the new SE and the largest iPhone, the 6S Plus. So you can see it is a it is a massive size difference between these two phones. I personally like the style of the uh, the SE. Um, I don't dislike the 6 uh, or 6S styling, but I do like the styling of the uh, flatter edges of the of the SE 5S uh, styling. Now what I'm also going to do in this video is uh, I'm going to do a, a Geekbench 3 and a Wi-Fi speed test. For that, I'm just going to, to narrow that down to the 6S and the SE, just to simplify things. So, these are both set to adaptive brightness. And we're just going to run these tests. They're both on the same Wi-Fi network. I'm going to make sure everything is closed. And let's, let's run our speed test first. We're going to run them at the same time. This is on um, Wi-Fi with service with Time Warner Cable, 30 megabits per second speed. Now you can see here, I'm getting a lot faster speed out of the SE than I am the 6S. Again, these have been actually both factory reset, restored. I've cleared everything out of, uh, of memory, closed all the applications. And you can see that the SE is getting significantly faster speeds. Now, 26 to 13, almost 5 up to 1.5 up. Let's run that one more time. I don't know if you can see that, but they're being hosted. They're hitting different servers. I don't know why that is. Ping time is almost the same. But as you can see, very similar results from the first test that I ran. So to me, that's very interesting. I don't know why. Maybe you do know why. There is no SIM card in the 6S. There is a T-Mobile SIM card in the SE. Um, leave a comment if you know why we may have seen such a difference in the speed tests. Okay, so we're going to go back to the home page. I'm going to close the speed test. And we're going to do a Geekbench 3. And run. Now I am also noticing, and it could be a slight variation in the lighting and location. I, I, I can see that the SE seems to be a little darker, even though they're both set uh, to, for, the for the adaptive lighting. But if you see here, the performance is almost identical. 2550 to 2542, 4460 to 4436 
for multi-core. And just to verify um, what I have said regarding the settings, see they're both set to auto brightness. And I don't know if you can see that, uh, probably not with the angle of the phone, but they're both on the cell spot. Uh, they're both on the exact same Wi-Fi network. And one thing that might also be interesting to see here uh, is if we go to brightness and we turn off auto brightness and we max them out. You know, to my eye, the SE is not getting as bright. Uh, this is not a very scientific test, but just looking at the phone, you can see that the the 6S is kind of blowing out more so than the SE is. So it does seem that the brightness is not as strong in the SE. And I'm sure there will be lots of videos with more technical ways of showing that. But that's just a quick uh, video showing a couple of comparisons and some, some size comparisons of the different iPhones. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe so you don't miss anything. I am also going to do a, a camera comparison. I'm going to take the same shots with each of these phones. I'm going to do a couple of videos and upload that as well. Thank you again so much for checking out my video, and I'll see you in the next one.